Divorce rates are so high for the same reason that some divorce cases become highly contested. And what I mean by that is poor communication. When a couple gets married, the number one thing that leads to divorce is that they don't know how to communicate effectively. And that eventually leads to a divorce. The problem is not being able to communicate effect effectively makes a divorce more difficult. And that's where an attorney usually comes in is they're gonna assist in communicating with the other side and resolving the matter. Divorce affects the whole family because it is stressful. It's hard. You have a family unit. You you have a husband and wife and then the kids and things seem to be functioning well, but maybe they're not underneath. And so when that starts to bubble to the top and there's more arguments in the home and the tensions rise, that affects the children, that affects both spouses. Maybe they have a career and that's starting to affect them at the job. So as long as those stresses aren't addressed and they keep getting worse, it's gonna affect everybody negatively. So the goal in a divorce is to get it done as efficiently as possible. You wanna break people free of that stress and get them on to that next chapter where things are, are working better in separate households. Divorce is not a go-to. It's not something we don't get married thinking the first thing that goes wrong, we're gonna get divorced or even the second or third thing. The vows that we make when we get married are sacred, but sometimes things happen in marriage that are so egregious or so offensive that it, it breaks that bond that we have with our married partner. And we do have to think about whether or not we can continue being married. And before we get divorced, we might try something like counseling or going to our, our priest or pastor to see if we can fix what's going on in the marriage. And if that doesn't work, then divorce is a very viable option. If you don't wanna be with your spouse anymore, but you don't necessarily wanna go straight to the courts, you can start with a separation and just take the time to figure out whether or not divorce is the next step that you wanna take. There's also something called a legal separation that is right for some couples where they wanna stay married either for own, their own personal reasons or religious reasons, but they want some of the protections that a divorce brings without actually getting divorced. Another option would be something called a post-nuptial agreement where you're getting separated or maybe you're not getting separated, but you're just putting in writing some agreements that you have about the marriage and what would happen if you did get a divorce. Financially, what a divorce is gonna mean for you is that you're not living under the same roof as your spouse anymore, which means you're not both contributing to the same expenses, the mortgage, the utilities, the car, and both people as they go their separate ways are, are gonna have to support themselves. So if there's one breadwinning spouse and one that's not, then the one that's not is gonna have to get support from somewhere. Either the court's gonna order the breadwinning spouse to pay that, or the, the spouse that didn't usually work is gonna have to get a job so that they can support themselves. Either way, the fundamental financial situation is going to change. So it's important to plan for that and re-budget and change your expectations as to where you're at financially. The major elements of divorce case are filing the case, litigating the case, and finalizing the case. I like to start backwards or start from the end and then work backwards. The finalization of the case is what's called the judgment for dissolution of marriage. That just basically means the divorce document, the thing that makes you divorced. And that's the ultimate goal. You can get there the second day that after you file the case, or it might take two years. What that document is, is the agreement between you and your spouse for what's gonna happen with, with everything in the divorce, the property, the custody, and, and all those things. Handling your own divorce without legal representation is risky. If you're fighting for custody or if you have a custody agreement, you might not think through 
all the different elements that might cause conflict in the future. What lawyers are very good at is seeing into the future and knowing all the little different areas that might cause you to come back to court. Oftentimes people call us that did their own divorce and we're solving a problem for them that could have easily been solved for less money if they had just handled it during their divorce case. So the biggest risk is that you miss something that's relatively simple and then it turns into a bigger problem down the road and costs you even more money than you would have had to pay. I've been practicing divorce my entire career. When I got licensed, I started working for an attorney that was doing divorce and I quickly realized that it was the area of law that I had passion for. I didn't want to be pushing papers for some corporate firm. I actually wanted to be helping people that had very real personal problems that I could help with in a very immediate way. So from when I first got licensed and started going into court and meeting with clients and learning the law, I was doing divorce and that's what I continue to do until today. Clients hire us for three main reasons. First is our reputation. We work incredibly hard to build our reputation of professionalism, integrity, and honesty with other attorneys and with judges so that when we're representing clients, judges listen to what we say and listen to the arguments we're making. So we're able to get better results for our clients. The second reason is because of our experience. Everybody from myself to our attorneys to our paralegals has been practicing family law their entire career. So we're very familiar with the laws at hand and how the court system works. The third reason is because of our compassion and empathy. We understand that every client brings their own unique story. And that's why we do this because we wanna learn that unique story and help that person with exactly what they need help with. Our current and past clients would point to the personal nature of our representation. From the first time that you call our firm, you'll tell that our receptionist truly cares about who you are and what you're going through, and they're gonna connect you with the attorney or the paralegal that can best help you at that point. They're gonna to wanna to know what is going on with you right now? What is that pain that you're feeling? Or what is that problem you're having? Or what are you trying to achieve? From that point, we're gonna to wanna to understand even more so we can help you exactly at the point that you need it. We know our clients by their names. They're not case numbers, they're not client files, but they're actually people that go through problems. They share pictures of their families with us and we learn about them and we get to know them throughout the course of a case. Client communication is incredibly important to us. It's actually the number one complaint that people make when they're not happy with their lawyers. So we know we have to focus on that more than almost anything else. We've made it easy for our clients to get in touch with the attorney or the paralegal on their case and they can reach out either by text message, by a phone call that will get returned within 24 hours or via email. If a client is not getting the communication that they deserve, that's something that's gonna be addressed immediately and resolved without issue. We're a boutique family law firm, which means that we have a small number of attorneys who are very well experienced in handling anything from routine matters to highly complex divorces that may involve complex property division, business evaluation, clinical psychological experts in custody disputes. Our team is built so that we can work efficiently and effectively. We have an attorney who's managing the entire case. We have a paralegal who's handling all the documents and we have a legal assistant who's helping the paralegal not to miss anything. So we cross all the T's and dot all the I's. As the attorney captains the ship, if you will, everybody on board is working to make sure that we're going towards the same destination and that's the client's goals. If you're watching this video and you're thinking that you need some legal help, 
The best thing that you can do is to call a firm and book a consultation. There's nothing that replaces getting a one-on-one -on -one conversation with an attorney who knows the law in the area that you're having a problem with. You can either find an attorney by asking your friends or your family that maybe have gone through a similar problem if they know a good attorney, or you can look online. If you're looking online, make sure the attorney that you contact has good reviews on Google that doesn't have any negative marks on their bar record, reach out to them, book a consultation so you can get one-on-one -on -one help. In your initial consultation for divorce, we're going to learn all about your situation. We're going to learn when you got married, if you're currently living with your spouse, if you have children, if you have property, if there's any businesses involved or retirement accounts. And we're going to talk about what is the immediate problem right now? Why is it that you're calling a divorce attorney right now? Certainly the problems you're having right now have been going on for a while. So is there a straw that broke the camel's back? Maybe there's a domestic violence situation. Sometimes there's something immediate that we need to do. And we're going to start with that first. Once we learn about your entire situation, we're going to tell you what we think of your case, how much we think things will cost and what you'll have to put down for an initial retainer to hire our firm. We'll then give you the opportunity to make a decision. And if you decide to hire us and we decide that you're a good fit, we'll start the attorney client relationship and we'll go forward with your case.